stop scrolling because we have another Reddit deep dive into a tiny AI company that might surprise you. This company has a market cap of 681 million and they're based out of Austin, Texas. They IPO'd recently, so this is a very new stock. Now the Reddit post came from someone who works at a FANG cloud provider, and they're not saying that this is guaranteed money, just that they stumbled onto this company through their work and that alone caught my attention. Theme number one is power bottlenecks in data centers. AI demand is exploding, but there's literally not enough power to cool and run all these racks efficiently, and we all know that. Theme number two is wearables. Think about AI glasses or watches. To actually be useful, these need to run models locally, not ping the cloud every time, but AI chips destroy battery life when they do that. This company Ambeek, ticker AMBQ, claims to solve both problems with ultra-low power chips using what's called sub-threshold voltage tech. These chips are already shipping in devices and they built their own AI runtime called Helios. That makes it sticky for manufacturers once they integrate with them. Before we get into the details, if you haven't joined the Campus Town Trading Discord yet, I don't know what else I can say. It is free to join. Every day we are in there working together, making money in the market. Just look at the wins I post daily. It is not luck, it's teamwork. Click the link in my bio to join today. If the link doesn't work, just DM me. The Ambeek team is worth mentioning. The founder has a PhD in this exact field and it's literally his life's work. The CEO comes across as credible and not like a hype man. The engineering team is basically a bunch of engineers who just live to build good tech. Customers already include Google, plus they have traction in healthcare AI, which is interesting because healthcare spending on AI is expecting to rebound really hard. Now, let's talk about the risks here. The IPO is brand new, so they have no earnings history yet, and wearables as an AI category could still stall. There's also no analyst coverage, so this is still pure do-your-own-research territory. First earnings call is set for September 14th, which is going to be a total wild card, but will give us insight into how this company might perform going forward. Forward. The Redditor summed it up as a speculative bet. This is either going to be a flyer or a complete dud, and they even capped their own max investment because of the risk. Personally, I think the takeaway here isn't buy this now, but rather how deep dives like this can uncover interesting companies that most people aren't even looking at and just to put them on your watch list. Hit like and follow for deep dive recaps like this every single week. This video is for educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Always do your own research before investing.